Let's go to past and present. So since you guys have been in the league, there have been a bunch of rule changes between the expanded wild card, DH in the National League, the pitch clock. Uh, Murph, we'll start with you. Which rule change, since you both have retired, would you have been most excited for? Most excited for? It's tough to say now. I, I love the pitch clock, and I wouldn't have said that when I played, but it was necessary as I started watching it as a neutral at home when I wasn't playing. It's just... There's too long in between pitches, between the matchup, between the batter and the and the pitcher. So I thought that the sh the, the pitch clock was warranted, and it's it's been awesome. It's got the pace of the game much more uh, like I think it was intended to be. Yeah, the pitch clock is my favorite change. Uh, David, how about you? I think Murph, I couldn't have said any better. I mean, I think that with young kids like Murph has and that I have, you know, we take our kids to a couple games a year, and – they're paying attention because the 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 action is more fast paced. So I think for the younger generation, especially, um, you know, kind of getting to a ball game and being out of there in two and a half, two hours, forty five minutes is big. So I enjoy the action. Yeah, it's way more palatable. Uh, David, how do you feel about the expanded wild card? I like it. It keeps more teams involved. It's definitely more interesting at the trade deadline. And as we're kind of going through right now in the Mets organization, you know, we're still right in the middle of this thing. So, you know, to be able to be a couple games out with how poorly uh, we started, um, you, you know, and, and it, it's all about, and as we experienced kind of firsthand, it's all about getting hot at the right time. And if our base best baseball is ahead of us and we can kind of get that momentum going into the playoffs, anything can happen. Yeah. How do you feel about the expanded wild card, Murph? What do you think? I, I like the expanded wild card. Like David said, I would say one of the rule changes that we're talking about now that I don't enjoy is the division games, not having as many of them. Um, mm -hmm. So I would love it if the Mets and the Braves were hooking up this entire last month of September while they're duking it out for this third wild card spot. So I do miss the division games, um, but I think the third wild card spot adds more intrigue at the deadline and, and it keeps more teams in it uh, to go for it. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, David, what about the National League DH? What are your thoughts? I don't know. I mean, there's something like old school, and Murph may agree or disagree with this and it'd be interesting to hear his take, is I'm old school. Like, I love the strategy behind double switching. And, you know, do you try to, uh, you know, sneak a, a pitcher's at bat, you know, late to sneak one more inning out of him on the mound? Like, I love that kind of – the game within the game and the way that some of the great managers that I got a chance to play for would, you know, kind of strategize, you know, when that pitcher spot would come up. So um, maybe it's a little stubbornness, maybe it's a little old school, but I, I miss the pitcher hitting. Murph, what do you think? I, I like the pitcher hitting. Like I'm okay with the DH because it's more offense, but the strategy I do, I like the fact that the senior circuit had the pitcher hitting, that there was more strategy, is a bit more inside baseball. Mm -hmm. I mean, the American League was an outlaw league before we let them in. So you know, <laughs> just they did the DH first doesn't mean we had to follow them. 